ARMD age related macular degeneration is the leading cause of irreversible visual impairment among older individuals affecting 30 to 50 million individuals loss of visual acuity occurs because of progressive degeneration of the photoreceptors rp and cora capillaries earliest manifestation of the disease appears in the as abnormalities within the brooks membrane there is drop deposition of lipo tissue in the brooks membrane these are called basal linear deposits and basal laminar deposits then comes the formation of drusen they appear as focal whitish yellow excrescence is deep to the retina the deposits are located between the rpe cells and the brooks membrane this is the earliest visible clinical sign of the armd drusen can be small intermediate or large and they appear behind the rpe cells if the margins are distinct these are called hard drusen if margin are not distinct these are called soft drusens drusen and brooks membrane impede the passage of the fluid and nutrients between the choroid and the rpe cells and the photoreceptors leading to the ischemia this ischemia gives rise to the formation of the new vessels that arises from the cora capillaries and they invade through fractures in the brooks membrane in the sub rpe space so brooks membrane thickening drusen formation giving rise to relative ischemia giving rise to two things one geographical atrophy that is the atrophy of the photoreceptors rp cells and the cora capillaries or the formation of the new vessels so age related eye disease study divides into four stages it is the advanced stage which is clinical important tri rmd wet rmd geographical atrophy of the rp involving the degeneration of the various layers of the retina photoreceptor rp and cora capillaries new vascularization cnvm formation pigment epithelial deposition hemorrhage exudates so it's the wet armd which is responsible for 80 90% of armd related visual loss intravitreal injection or the treatment of choice of the wet armd and dry armd just lifestyle advice no smoking nutrition supplements has to be given in dry armd approximately 10% of the patient with armd develop neovascular diseases and land up in blindness in absence of anti vgf treatment 80 to 90% dec- has decrease in vision patient with neovascular rmd complained of blooding of the central vision metamorphopsia micropsia related fundus examination is the gold, gold standard in the diagnosis of the armd oct fa diagnosis which are required to establish and to monitor the response to the treatment this is from the photo showing grayish green membrane deep inside the retina armd cnvm oct helpful in all the stages diagnosis oct is very most frequent imaging modality but only 85% sensitive 48% specific but oct 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 is the most frequent imaging modality, 85% sensitive, but only specificity, only 48%. FA should be considered only in the diagnosis of the ARMD, otherwise over, over diagnosis of CNVM. Drusen, one can see discrete areas of RPE elevation. Geographical atrophy, atrophy of the photoreceptors, RPE and cora capillaries. formation of cnvms fluid retinal fluid subretinal fluid as pigment epithelium and detachment in wet armd oct divides cnvm to two three types type 1 type 2 type 3 depending on the location if it's below rp type 1 above rp below the retina type 2 if it is arising from the retina and grows towards crites the three third type retinoangiomatous proliferation This is the classification based on OCT. OCT helps us to diagnose and prognosticate the patient. Type one CNVM, which is the most common of the CNVM in the ARMD, they progress slow and respond slow. Type two CNVM, they progress fast and resolve fast. 
So this is a patient on uh, type 1 CNVM. This is a patient with type 2 CNVM. CNVM invaded to the RP cells and grown into the subsensory retinal space. Type 1, type 2, type 3 classification depends based on the OCT and the FA pictures. We can divide the CNVM into called CNVM classic. If the leak or leaks occur below the RP cells, if you occur CNVM, it's above uh, RP, then it's a classic CNVM. In classic CNVM, we have early leak and late hyperfluorescence. In case of occult CNVM, type 1 CNVM, pigment epithelial detachment, this is fibrovascular leak from unknown source. If the CNVM we don't treat, then the loss of vision more than six, nine, ten, two years, then they has to be treated. Before 2005, various modalities were tried, lasers, photodynamic therapy, but believe me, no treatment was successfully improving the vision. Only it delays the, delayed the progression of the blindness, but improvement vision was not there. But this changed after 2005, Marina and Anko study were the provider study which clearly proved that VGF was the center to the pathogenesis of neovascular MD. And this study proved that there were improvement of vision with intravitreal anti-VGF injections. We have five anti-VGF drugs available for anti-VGF injections. We can give monthly, bi-monthly or every three monthly intravitreal injections for the treatment. But the, but this leads to very great burden on the patient. This treatment goes on for years and years. Other treatment option, we can exercise a PR and, and treat and extend protocol. If patient asks how many intravitreal injections, then we have to tell to the patient, look, this is one, one monthly, two monthly, or, or three months disease. This will go on for years, more of a continuous part, year, year, after, year after year, and this is indefinite time frame. They may require five to six intravitreal injections yearly for many years. What is our target? Retinal fluid resolution is our target. All retinal fluid is a disease state and needs to be the control with appropriate treatment. Some few cases, geographical atrophy, vitamin supplementation, occult CNVM, give intravitreal injection, patient has to be told type 1 CM grows slow, progress slow, and resolves slow. This is type 2 CNVM, progress fast and resolve fast also, give intravitreal injection. Include ANME continues to be the leading cause of irreversible visual active loss. Vitamin supplementation for dry RMD, fatty RMD, intravitreal injection, two advances which lead to improvement in the treatment of RMD, one is OCT and one second is anti-VGF injection. AMD is a degenerative macular disease which is progressive. Neovascular AMD has to be treated with anti-VGF injection. Anti-VGF therapy is the current standard of care, but in spite of the treatment, there is a long-term decline in the vision despite anti-VGF treatment. Thank you, dear friends.